time of Argentina soaring. <laughs> time 95 million years to the time of Argentinosaurus. Whoa, the ground's all shaky. I hope I haven't landed in the middle of an earthquake. Whoa. It's not an earthquake, it's an Argentinosaurus quake. Whoa! Look at the size of her! She's so tall, she's almost scraping her head on the sky! There's a whole parade of Argentinosaurus here! They're immense! Look, it's a whole family of woolly mammoths! They're using their trunks to find food in the deep snow! Excuse me, do you mind? <laughs> Maybe it's time to hitch a ride. <sighs> ah, this is much better. Oh, whoopsie daisy. From up here, I might be able to spot a frozen river or a lake. Cave lions any match for a woolly mammoth. There are hundreds of them, look. Um, just in case, I might climb up onto mum over there. Look, the higher I am, the better chance I've got of finding the ice. Miles up here. I'm part of a mammoth migration. Oh, I don't think you can eat that. Ammonite shells are much too hard to break into. This will make a great picture though for Mrs. Kittle's painting. Perfect! Just in time. Before that shark over there got into shot. Shark! Come on, little friend! Swim for the rocks! Spinosaurus in this forest. Wow, look! I heard of a Ranosaurus! 
No need to be scared, though. They eat plants, not people. Hello. <gasps> oh, no. The Carcharodontosaurus has followed me. I'm much too small to outrun a big dinosaur like that. Um, hmm. But these are Ranosaurus, aren't? Maybe I can catch a ride. Uh, hello? Uh, excuse me. There's a hungry Carcharodontosaurus creeping up on us. that dung soon, I'm going to dry out. Hang on a minute. Yes! It's a Nothotherion! Exactly like the sloths in our time, only a lot bigger. It's easy to eat. That's good. All I need to do is find it. Let me see the toilet. Tooth cat again. Doesn't he ever give up? Giant sloths may be slow, but they're still quick enough to seal for saber-toothed cat. <coughs> Thanks, Dr. Theory Ops. I'm safe now. Where's the Ops? Oh, hang on. <sighs> I'll just take shelter under these trees for a while until the rain stops. Looks like it's clearing up. Hmm, I'm soaked. I'll just shake this off. Oops. Uh oh. I've just disturbed a hornet's nest. And they look pretty angry. Oh, get out! Get out of it! has dried out. And look, there's a Calicothea. 
He's coming this way. He must be heading for all these lovely green leaves. Right, now's my chance. I'll get my quick dry and cement. Yum. Now we need to stir it. Uh huh. Smooth it over there. I'll just wait for the calicacea to tread on it and I'll get a perfect claw print for Jen to scan. Come on! Ah, I took so long climbing down from there that the Paraceratherium have just gone. I can't see any footprints that I can scan. It's too dry and dusty. My hat! Ah, here it is. And it looks like someone very large has trodden on it. I wonder where they've gone. I'll try this way. What's that behind the tree? It's the baby Paraceratherium. Oh, sorry. Come back. Oh well. The babies are pretty big. I need a footprint for a fully sized Paraceratherium. Like the mother. Um, that doesn't sound too far away. <sighs> the watering hole. I'm sure that this is where the roar came from. Hang on. What's that down there? A family of Anthocyanidae. Having a drink. They're also known as bear dogs, carnivores that existed for millions of years. Wow! Look, it's the mother Paraceratherium. <laughs> oh, so that's what she's doing. She's coming to the watering hole for a drink, and the mud down by the water will be a perfect place for me to get a clear footprint. forest goes on for miles and miles. How am I going to search it all for Eleptic Tidium? The only thing I've seen so far are these dragonflies. Hang on a minute. That gives me a good idea. To the size of a dragonfly. Right. Now to hit a lift. Um, excuse me. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo! Get it up! <laughs> Come on! now for Eleptic Tidian, and I can't find one anywhere. Maybe they're just not alive! I think she finally realised that I'm not dinner. Thanks for that. Although, just to be sure, I might make myself a bit bigger. Not too big, though. I don't want to scare her off. Size of a leptic tidium. There, that's better. Now I can follow her without being eaten. Oh, I never thought I'd be playing peekaboo with a thin raptor.
think it's safe now. And it's one quick little dino. Where's he gone? There he is. He's all the way out there. Better get a moving if I want to get that feather. Oh, Epidexipterex may have had feathers, but they couldn't fly. Very good climbers, though. I think he's still hunting for food. Hang on. He's got competition. Out, you two. I don't know. There we are. All safe and sound. <laughs> What's that? Mm, it's too small to be a gigantoraptor. It's an overaptor. Coming this way. I better take cover. Overaptors look like big birds but they're actually dinosaurs. The name Overaptor means egg snatcher. Oh no, he spotted the nest. If he gets under those palm leaves, he'll gobble everything up. Where's mum? If she doesn't get back soon, her eggs will be gone. Uh-oh. Oh no, he's got one. Got to do something. Um, shoo! Shoo, big snatcher! Go on, get out of it! Shoo! Okay, don't worry. Go on, back to your brothers and sisters. Well, I'd say that's one excellent result. <laughs> Tumbleweed! Come back here, Tumbleweed! Oh. Gigantoraptors! These are one of my favourite dinosaurs. Oh, they're incredible, aren't they? They're about five metres tall and eight metres long. And they had these huge feathery wings. But they're far too big to fly. Hello, little fella. What are you doing there on your own? Oh. Is that your mum? Oh, no. She's not calling to us. She's shouting at them. I must like the look of this river. And they're trying to push us out. You big bullies. Come on, everyone. Run! Oh. Oh. Now that we've been chased out of the forest, the tribe are looking for a new place to live. But it's a lot more dangerous when they're out here on the plains. Especially with a dinotherium around. An ancient relative to the elephant, and they can be very aggressive too. We need to warn the gang. You lot, look out! Oh, watch out, little one! Oh, they should be safe now. That was close. The Dinotherium can't get to them in that tree. No! My little friend! He's calling for help! He went the wrong way! If the Dinotherium can hear him! I need to do something quick! Hey! Over here! Dinotherium! This way! Woohoo! It's working! It. 
travel back in time 36 million years to the time of Andrew Sarkis. Right, I just need to find one now so I can get that tooth. What was that? <gasps> it's a Marotherium, a prehistoric relative to the elephant. Look at his tiny little trunk. <laughs> Off he goes. Now these animals look familiar. Crabs. Hey, hey. Oh, that's it. Show us a little dance. Hello. Nice to see you. Oh, sorry about that, my stomach's rumbling. I'm still hungry. That wasn't my stomach. <gasps> it's an Andrew Sarkis. Whoa, it's a whopper. He looks pretty interested in my bag. Too interested. Hey! Oi, stop! Give me my backpack bag. Stop! Stop! Oh, I can't keep up. It's going to be tough getting hold of an Andrew Sarkis' tooth at this rate. I'll just have to follow his footprints. Stop! He's got my clock! Give that back! I guess I just have to swim out to it. Oh, on second thoughts, maybe swimming to it's not a good idea. What am I going to do? Um, my backpack. It's always full of useful things. Right, sandpaper. Miniature hairbrush. Fast acting glue? How's all this gonna help me? Maybe if I'm quiet, I can sneak up and whoa! No. Whatever's in the water has got lots of sharp teeth, making me very jumpy. Hang on. Reeds. Fast acting glue. Jumpy. Hmm. Hey presto, one prehistoric pole vault. I just hope this glue holds. Let's give it a go. shape. What? Wait a second. Oh, it's a pterosaur! And he's heading this way. That gives me an idea. Whoa! to do is wait for a Camptosaurus to call out and I can record it on my gizmo. Whoa! Oh, careful! I wouldn't want to get hit with that spiky thagomizer. I wonder which one will call first. Hmm. Maybe not this one. He's too busy eating. Oh, he's up. 
He's seen something. Oh, no! It's that Allosaurus. And he still looks hungry. Quick, warn the herd! Yes! He's giving an alarm to the rest of the herd. I need to record this. Come on! <laughs> Maybe if I follow them, they'll lead me to the nest of a Gigantoraptor. And hopefully, I can get my feather. Hey! Wait for me! I hope these Overraptors know where they're going, because I certainly don't. There doesn't seem to be any Gigantoraptor anywhere. Uh-oh. It's an Electrosaurus! A cousin of Tyrannosaurus Rex, who loved nothing more than a delicious, meaty meal. Oh, thankfully it didn't notice me. Oh, wait for me! If you thought the Electrosaurus was big, take a look at what we've just found. It's a mother Gigantoraptor. And she's on her nest. Oh, she's not too happy about the Overraptors being here. Oh, look at the size of her. And her feathers. Well, they look just like the one that Mrs. Pickles made. Whoa, easy now, Gigantoraptor. I'm not after your eggs. I'm just after a straight... Feather. Never get too close to a mum looking after her eggs. She can get very angry.